Well, hello. Welcome back. Uh, y you might ask what I'm doing, and my answer to that is, honestly, I have no clue. I, I don't know what I want to do today. I do know that, unfortunately, I, I need, I need to, to make a good storage system, a way for me to keep my goods all organized instead of this, uh, well, this unorganized mess. But, before we do that, I'm gonna do some cool stuff that's actually fun, you know, so I'm gonna go- Oh, I'm going the wrong way, actually. What I'm gonna do first is throw this bad boy in here with the mending, and that's gonna make us a pretty nice diamond pickaxe. Now, now what do we want to call this? Um, I'm thinking, uh, probably... You know what would be cool? Because my name is based off of Supernova, which is a explosion of a star maybe we could name our pickaxes after stars so i think we'll call this one alpha centauri yeah so that's a is for alpha centauri do we want to have the whole name or should we just do centauri no because that's that's the uh, here i'll just look up a name i don't know the actual name of alpha centauri so let's look it up so okay so we've got a name of a constellation that sounds pretty good Antares that is going to be our mending uh, silk touch pickaxe and this one once we do this should I do it yeah I think we'll call this one Let's see, maybe Vega. Yeah, I like that one. That is going to be a fine name for this pickaxe. So now we have a Fortune 3, Efficiency 4, Unbreaking 3, Diamond Pickaxe, and one that is Efficiency 4, Silk Touch, Unbreaking 3. Now that we've got that, I think the next item on our to-do list will be taking all these bad boys and uh well we're gonna mine them out and see what we can get out of them so we've got quite a lot i think i'm gonna start with the redstone and then the coal and then the lapis and then we'll move on to the diamonds and i'm pretty much just gonna probably do like a little four by four pillar into the sky with this because this is the way that i've pretty much always done uh, fortuned items, I, or ores, I guess. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and do this up to the top, and we will get the redstone done, the coal done, and then I will bring you guys back. Oh, we'll do the lapis too, and then I'll bring you guys back for the diamonds. Alright, so we've done all the coal, the redstone, and the lapis, and this is what we've got for it. So we've got almost four stacks of blocks of redstone, which is absolutely ridiculous. That means all these rows completely full of redstone dust and then some. That's pretty insane. And then we've also got two, or well, a, a stack and a half of coal blocks and then almost a half stack of lapis blocks. So let's go ahead and throw these into our chest here. I guess we can take those emeralds out. We have got a lot of redstone. That's a lot a lot of redstone but now we are going to get going on these diamonds and i i don't know how many we'll get but i'm hoping that we get a good stack if not i mean i at least get 43 right that is the true minimum that's that's the lowest i can get is 43 and that's not too bad that's definitely enough to make a set of armor for myself which is the plan because pretty soon we're going to be looking towards going and fighting the ender dragon because I want to get some elytra. I want to have those wings. They're very cool and they seem like very useful and I think that's exactly what we should be looking for right now. So what I want to do is I actually want to make sure that I don't see the max total until I look in my inventory. So let's go ahead fortune these all out and this is one of the most satisfying things is having this 
big old stack of diamond ores and you just get to mine it out like it's nothing. And you get a pretty good chunk of diamonds from it. I've seen a couple where they fly out with more than one, which means we definitely got more than 43. And, oh, I don't even know if I want to look at my inventory. Oh, yes. We got 64 and 24. That is a good amount of diamonds. I'm really, really happy with that. That means that we are going to have absolutely no problem doing this. And that is a full set of armor. Now we can throw these extra diamonds in here, I guess, until we get to sort out our storage, which I think, as much as I don't want to do, is definitely going to have to be next on my to-do list. If you also didn't notice, we managed to uh, have both of these pickaxes still at full health when we finished that. So that's not too bad. Mending really is a nice thing to have. So V is fortune, A is for silk touch. Maybe I should have gone with names that uh, match. So like something with an S for silk touch and something with an F for fortune. But uh, we're a little bit late on that now. Maybe later we'll change our names, or maybe if we lose these ones, we will uh, go ahead and rename these. But now I'm going to get working on some form of storage. I need a better way to store my stuff, because this up above my house is just not working anymore. And I think what I might do is clear out the sh sugar cane farm and the pumpkin farm over here as well. So we will, we'll, we'll, I'll bring you back when I figure out exactly what I'm going to do. And I might just bring you back when I'm completely done. I don't know. We'll see. It's a surprise, just for you, alright? Alright. We have it. So it's it's kind of like right next to my house. And I, I did realize that having the front door here and then another front door here, maybe not the 100% best decision I've ever made. But, I mean, it's it's gonna have to work, I think. And right now, uh, what we might have to do... Actually, that, that matches up. Alright, so what I'm probably going to do is organize all this... Or all the stuff that I have in there into here. And then I'll probably maybe put blocks down below. And that'll mark what's in the bottom chests. And then if I don't clarify that there's anything in the top two chests, it'll be the same up. So like if I place cobblestone here, wood here then that means that cobblestone will be all the way up unless there's a sign or item frame determining or not determining stating otherwise i guess but i i think that this should be enough chests for a while i think this should be enough chests for me to not have to worry about making another storage system for a good little while and we have a, a new problem with our villager breeder it, it's been giving me grief ever since i built it and I think what I might have to do is actually take it and put it over in the ocean far, far away from anything else that I have and then just ship or boat the uh, the villagers over to here from over there. I, I had two guys in here and a farmer at some point, but then one of these guys got out and the farmer somehow got into there and then I killed the farmer thinking that I'd just be like, oh, I'll just breed these two together. Then after that guy got out, I put him in here, and he must have died overnight to a zombie. So, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to redo a villager breeder. And, I mean, yeah, it's not gonna take too, too long, but it's, it's more just, it's a hassle. A hassle that I, I, I really don't want to have to deal with. So, that, I think, having the storage system, big bonus. Villager breeder not working quite a big loss i'll have to organize all my stuff and i think i might do the vill new villager breeder off camera as well and i'll just show it to you guys when that's done later but getting that storage system done is a huge plus now my next focus i think after i get this villager breeder out in the ocean is going to be ender dragon i, I want to fight the ender dragon and that's going to be what what's up next so i'm going to have to do a lot of hunting for ender pearls, and I'll have to go to the nether a few times and probably to get some blaze rods, but what that's that's a beehive. I totally forgot that was there. Um so I mean before we end this episode, I guess we can 
do some something real quick over there. I think it does take shears to get honeycomb. I have honeycomb, right? Somewhere in here. I don't know where. I thought I did. I guess not. Is it down here? Yeah, look at that. There's honeycomb in there. I believe if we just go over here and shear this, that is what gives us the honeycomb. Yeah, there it is. And did it make any angry bees? Doesn't look like it did. That's that's a plus. We didn't have to deal with any angry bees. And we have some honeycomb. I should probably start looking into what it takes to farm a beehive. But that's, that's a problem for another day. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please go ahead and just let me know. Give me a comment saying like, hey, I like this video. That's all I ask. It just lets me know that you're actually watching, and I appreciate that. Thanks for sticking around, and I will see you on the flip side.